Welcome to Wingsound.com. I'm Stoney. I'm so glad you guys have been sending in your emails. I'd like you guys to start uploading your videos via webcam and sending them in to Wing Sound and hitting submit so that I can see you guys one on one and answer your questions for you. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about saving your channel strip settings inside of the Logic EXS software. And uh, you get to save your settings, use them in new projects, and actually share them with your friends as well. So let's walk through it and see how that's done. In this channel, I'm using a bass sound that I've edited and changed different uh, parameters. I like how that sounds. So in my future recordings, in my new sessions, I might want to use the same settings for different tracks. And uh, you might want to save those settings and share with different friends. It's as simple as going up to where it says settings here. And you click on that. And uh, you'll see an option here that says save channel strip settings as and if you notice, I've already named it Sub Synth Bass Stony. And then pretty much in, I save it. And it's as simple as that. And uh, when I need to recall it, all I have to do is look for that same calling with my name Stony on it. And uh, the channel strip setting will be there. You can always get in touch with Stony at wingsound.com and check out more of Stony's videos, including these titles featuring Logic and the new record, now available on demand at wingsound.com.